Pois é, e olha só onde eu tô agora, na Turn 10 Studios, justamente para conversar com um dos responsáveis, ou o grande responsável pelos Jogos Forza que a gente tanto jogou. I'm Dan Greenwald, I'm the career director at the Forza franchise. Welcome. Dan, the first question is about we recently uh, received the Blizzard expansion pack that brought a lot of content. Uh, it's kind of a new challenge for you guys producing the, these games that you don't think just on when you release the game. You have to keep working on it. You know, it's really important to us to keep our fans engaged all the time. And so, yeah, we release a big game. Forza Horizon 3 is a huge game. But then having monthly downloadable content in the form of cars, you know, the BMW i8, there's been some great cars released. And then the expansions in Blizzard Mountain. I don't think people expected it, but with Playground Games' background in making rally games and things like that, they really captured the feeling of snow while keeping it fun. And it still wor works in that Horizon world where you do big jumps and drift and have a great time. So yeah, our goal is to engage fans all the time, but do it in a fun way that keeps them surprised. Of course, that Forza the last year was one of the most successful releases of the, the season. Uh, everybody's playing because of the cars. We had the opportunity since the beginning to already play with that car that you like so much and you want to have some, some play. Uh, can you compare the two franchises, Forza and Forza Horizon 3? Because one of them is more kind of simulator and the other one has this simulator thing, but It's more for, I don't know, for everybody. You know, we spend a lot of time as a team thinking of how we can forge the future of automotive entertainment, how we can get more people into cars. And cars speak to people on different levels. Some people, they, they think about the car they first owned. They think about racing. They think about uh, pride in, in what car they own. It's different for all different people. And Motorsport and Horizon really cover all bases. With Horizon, it's about freedom, exploration, it's playful, it's fun, there's music, it's, it's just a great time. In Motorsport, it's about threat, it's about precision and accuracy and simulation. Now, some people prefer one and some people prefer the other. Honestly, I think it's great if you like either one, as long as you're getting into cars and being part of our future, the future of car culture, which can't be just, you know, 40-year-old dudes. It's got to be broader, more men, more women, more kids, people that are into new things. We need to get them into car culture in new ways. For you, as the guy here in studio, do you think that it's important to be a racing lover, to work over here? Because I can see a simulator over here with the lat times. So people here play video games and, of course, play your games and racing games. You know, it's impossible to work in the gaming industry if you don't have passion. You just can't stay here. It's, it's just critical. Now, some people on our team are passionate about technology. Some are really passionate about games. And some are passionate about racing. I'm passionate about all three. I love playing games, I love racing cars, and I love technology. So, you know, that's what's given me the ability to, to come to work every day, be excited, try and excite the team, and inspire people to do something new, to innovate, create something that people aren't expecting, to delight them. So yeah, I love cars, and I, I fall in and out of love with cars all the time, and I love to get the opportunity to go to other places, other countries, see how their car culture is flourishing, and uh, try out what they're excited about. What's the next step for the franchises, even Forza Horizon and Forza, uh, in terms of technology? VR, Scorpio is coming uh, for you guys. Of course, that you guys are already thinking about it. What's the next steps? Well, you know, the great thing about being an internal Microsoft studio is that we're at the forefront of whatever Microsoft's working on, and we get to know what's going on and kind of be part of the, the foundation and the creation of that. So, of course, we're all very excited about Scorpio, right? And we're very excited about the Windows 10 PC. So we've now shipped two games with 4K, you know, Forza Motorsport 6 Apex on Windows 10, and then Horizon 3. And now one game with HDR, Horizon 3. That kind of technology and bringing that into our rendering engine, it, it's great for the fans because they get immersion and they get clarity and they get atmosphere. But it's fun for the developers too because there's new challenges to take on. And, and working on you know high-end gaming rig, it's just 
It's amazing what you can do there. But at its heart, the strength of our engine is that it's a custom-made engine for the Xbox One, now for Windows 10, for DirectX 12, which means we can get every little bit out of every piece of hardware we ever see and can push new ground. So I can't tell you exactly what our future is. What I can tell you is that we're always committed to pushing the boundaries of what uh, some of this hardware can do. The last question is about what kind of feedback do you guys have uh, in terms of having Rio de Janeiro and Forza 6 for you guys? You know, we were immediately smitten with Rio, uh, just as the idea. You know, it was in the news a lot back then, especially when there was planning going on for big events that were happening, the world was coming to Rio. And so we are, sent our team there to get inspired. We had an idea what we wanted to build, but when you send the team there, they learn things. They, they get to feel the place. And our goal is to capture the feeling, you know, and have it be very different than the other tracks we've done, different than Prague, different than the Alps, different than the other locations we've done. And Rio really spoke through the camera to our team. They were able to capture the colors and the textures and the differences when you go from one area in one neighborhood to another and the architecture changes and the colors change and really capture that. Now the response that we've heard from fans has been great. I mean, I think part of it is it's always exciting to have people in your backyard, you know? So I think everyone's excited to say, oh, you know, our place is finally captured. Uh, but I think what's been best is the Brazilian car fans are diehard racers. And so having that marriage of, of motorsport and Rio has been great. I mean, the, the, just the racing culture out of Rio is fantastic and out of Brazil in general. Um, and just remember, uh, we already received a lot of content for Forza Horizon 3, uh, but we have such more content coming. You know, we always keep our games active and alive. We want to engage the community, get people excited. Sometimes that means, you know, really taking a hard look at what we're delivering and, and listening to what the community says and start to deliver cars that people have been asking for for years. And at times it means really surprising them with things that are unexpected, things they never saw before. And I feel in the last few years we've done a lot of that. And we had a Fallout 4 car. I don't think fans were expecting that. You can drive the Warthog in, in Forza Horizon 3. We were able to do crossovers that brought new IPs into our game. Even the Fast and the Furious stuff in Forza Horizon 2, that was really cool. And I think it just brings new fans in and gets people thinking about racing as not just lap times, but cars and fun. É isso aí. Todo mundo sabe que é bem isso mesmo, né? Se você jogou Forza Horizon 3, sabe que as possibilidades eram inúmeras. Você podia jogar com os mais variados tipos de carro. E a gente pode conversar um pouquinho com um dos responsáveis por esse jogo que tem muita gente jogando e ainda vai jogar bastante. Afinal, tem pacote de expansão, carros novos chegando e muito mais.